Hey, my tongue is yellow. <laughs> I've been drinking this golden milk um, with turmeric. And so my tongue matches my earrings. But hey guys, today is Tuesday, Nicole Cooper here, and I am up and feeling amazing. I've been out of pocket for a week, just nurturing my soul from some kind of summer cold that I wanna believe it is. Um, but I wanted to hop on here really quick and just share with you guys some lessons that I'm learning about operating in the divine feminine. Look at my tongue matching my earrings. <laughs> All turmeric, y'all. <laughs> um, but just learning about lessons of operating from the divine feminine. So here's the thing. Let me give you all a little bit of history. Um, I am currently in a leadership group called Ascension Leadership Academy. Most amazing community ever um, for just a ability to develop yourself. If you want to grow personally. Thank you, sis. I'm learning, D. I'm learning. <laughs> um, but if you are in a place of wanting to grow personally, and you you need something that you know is going to actually pull the greatness out of you. ALA has been like the gift um, on so many levels because it gets you away from doing to who you become. Who do you really want to be? Your state of being. That's all I can say over and over again when I think about ALA, right? It's just like, who are you? Your state of being. And so because I've been connected to ALA and um, hey, Tamisa, and in this community, one of the things that has come up for me is this wall that I've had up. A wall of like being tough, having to be strong all the time, um, being okay with not having help and always trying to figure things out on my own and just feeling obligated to just always be planted in strong soil. Like I just did not have room for emotional breakdowns right i remember talking to somebody one of my mentors and he was like nicole do you cry and i was like i don't have time to cry and he was like you know that's not really good right like there are times where you actually have to purge and get things out of you or whatever so in being in ala if you want to learn more about it just dm me and i'll give you the information because it's been life changing but being in this community my masculine what has come up for me over and over again is you operate from the masculine like you have this really masculine energy <laughs> so and i was like what does that mean like i didn't understand what masculine and feminine energy meant like i didn't even know there was a distinction that's how naive i was y'all um yeah i didn't know what masculine energy was and what i saw on tiktok this is crazy because it's like Listen, y'all, here's the reality. Some of us are so naive about a lot of things that we think are obvious to other people. One of my good friends, D, she's on here. She always is operating in a divine feminine and, 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 and really taking care of herself and nurturing herself and just doing everything to support herself. But I was just like, oh, D can do that because that's D. I never gave myself the permission to like do the same. So let me explain. So... I looked up a TikTok video and this lady, it was, I just looked up like, I just been looking up like feminine energy. Like what do people say about divine feminine, all this stuff. And she had a really good explanation. She said, when you operate from masculine energy, you operate from your neck up. It's what you think. It's what you can create. It's all that stuff. And then she said, when you operate from your feminine energy, you operate from your neck down. It is your being. Right. And so I was like, okay, so so what does that mean? Like, you know, I still, I still so naive. I was like, oh my God, how, how does that translate? <laughs> um, but it means that <clears throat> everything we do is from thoughts of trying to create and control. Um, whereas as feminine energy is just your state of being, right? But what that also meant, and I have a really good friend, Julieta, <laughs> Don Tizia, say yes to the neck down. Yes, boo, because you know how to get that right and tight, right? But my good friend Julieta, who is in our um, in our ALA training in our community, she said she was teaching one of my other friends, Hannah. She said, you know, you have to, she told Hannah, you have to activate your goddess in the morning or you 